Welcome to Building with Bits. In this episode, I'm going to show exactly how you can make these awesome double doors. As always, please consider subscribing and let's start with the basics. Now, the process is pretty much the same with either the sliding or axis door type, though there are a few minor differences, so we'll start with the axis door first. If you'd like a more detailed explanation of how to set up individual doors themselves, I'll leave a link to my tutorial in the description. Now we have a door. Opens outwards. But say we had an entrance like this, we're clearly going to need another door. So with the same recipe, we can rotate it around, line it up and place it in. And we're almost there. See, the door's rotation is actually always fixed relative to the door. So since we had to turn the door around when we placed it, it also turns the axis point and rotation with it. This is actually a rather simple fix for us. Whenever you place in an opposing door like that, you can simply just go into the options again, change the rotation from minus to positive or vice versa. That way, both the doors will open in the same direction. Okay, so this is cool and all, but kind of annoying, right? I mean, you've you got to open both doors separately and it just doesn't look as smooth as it could. So to get these doors working in unison, firstly, we're going to need a new recipe. Now, if I just select the doors themselves, stay closed, please. Thank you. Then when I try to make that into a simple recipe, you will see this message pop up. Uh, okay, so basically what this means for us is we need something else, some solid block or tile for the doors to attach onto in order for them to work. So right here, obviously, we've got the blocks around the doors. This time we'll select all of the blocks, including the door as well. And since we're using regular Minecraft blocks in this construct, make sure to select for them in the first screen. Otherwise, it will give you the same error. So with everything selected, click save and we're brought to the usual blank interface. Now on the top left in the first drop down menu, there will be a door section at the bottom and right at the bottom of that, you will see the door activator. Select that and on the left, it will give you a list of all the already animated constructs you've selected in your new recipe. So for us, obviously that's just the two doors, but to my knowledge, there is actually no limit to the amount of constructs you can combine this way, which just kind of blows my mind. Now at the top, you'll have another drop down list. Again, this one will still show you all of those individual constructs, but from here, you can actually select them to check and change the settings as you go. This is also really, really cool, but we don't need any of that right now. So make sure you just have both of your doors selected, click save, and now we have our working double door. Now, there are a couple of minor differences when you build the sliding variant, so let's set one up. Obviously, the main difference being the door's movement. In this case, sliding is actually a little bit easier because we don't have to change anything when we rotate it around and place it down since it's still relative to the door. But if we were just to go ahead and do the same as before, build all the way around the doors like this. Now, while this will still work, you will end up with some visual bugs as your door clips into the wall. And damn, hell, now I can't even close it without removing the block. Personally, I like to avoid this, but obviously, as long as you leave enough room to actually activate your doors after the fact, it's really just down to personal preference. In this instance, we're going to build a little enclosure for our doors just to show you what that would look like.
And as you can see, we got a perfectly sized gap for the doors to seamlessly slide into without any bugginess. Just like before, we can then select the whole door frame, go through the same process of turning it all into a door activator. And voila, the double sliding door. So I imagine by now you've probably got a bunch of cool ideas on how to use this and as always I'd love to hear your suggestions in the comments below. In the latest update of Little Tiles, the creator has also added a cable system which means we can actually activate these doors with buttons and switches now too. CreativeMD does a really comprehensive tutorial on how to use this and I'll leave a link to that in the description for all of you who are interested. And I'll obviously be doing my own basic tutorials on more specific applications for cables, so definitely consider subscribing if you're interested in that. Of course, to everyone who made it this far, you absolute legends, a massive thank you to my Patreons, you even bigger legends, and I shall see you all in the next one.